guys, it's Delicracy here with Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood Part 25. And just to let you guys know, I have started pre-recording these parts uh, because I am away traveling. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the last part uh, or at least found it interesting and entertaining uh, because a lot actually happened. It was a bit of a shock episode because Sylvia's mom and Bailey's mom are now in a relationship together, which I think... Go ladies. I think it's great. Um, but Bailey, of course, would have been really shocked by it. And she's written what happened in her diary. She said her mom's seeing another woman and that's all she's written in her diary. And we did hide the diary under the bed. So that's kind of been her emotional release. And that's been really good because uh, that does help her. What is it? Her... <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, wait, I'm not even on Bailey. I was like, where are her character values? Here we go. It helps her emotional control, I believe, writing in her diary. So that's good. Uh, but why is... I thought we put it under the bed. Bailey, ah. hide, hide this... Yeah, hide your journal under the bed. I swear we hid that. It contains <laughs> secrets. Okay, girl, put that under your bed. It's a Friday as well. It's almost the weekend. Yay. And we also have to keep an eye on her aging up because it's three days until she ages up. Ugh. A part of me wants to change the aging, but <sighs> I don't know. I feel like, what's what have I got it on? I think I've got it on normal. Gameplay. Lifespan normal. Yeah, part of me wants to put it on long, but then again, I so often never get to live through the normal lifespan of a sim in Let's Plays uh, because all of our Let's Plays are kind of edited a little bit. So I'm like, eh, I don't know, like dream life obviously is different. Barbie's different. So this one I kind of want to be normal. Uh, I don't know. No, I think we'll keep it normal. Oh my gosh, she's such a star. She's like such a star. Now she and her mom had that awkward conversation last night where she got a bit angry. She didn't know how to react. So Clarice is probably, Clarice could have made something for Bailey. Um, you know, I think Clarice should stop eating for a second. <laughs> Bailey, where are you? And I think Bailey should go up to her mom and you know what? Just give her a hug. No, you know what? I think her mom needs to give Bailey a hug. She's like, I want my spaghetti though, Deli. Clarice, stop. Let's just hug lovingly. And she can be like, look, Bailey. I'm sorry it was a shock to you last night, but everything's going to be okay. And I've actually been looking for someone for a long time. So it's really nice that I can be open with you. And you really like her. She's a lovely lady. So it's like, oh, okay, this is kind of weird, but I respect you. Mom. I think Bailey would just, she'd, she'd get used to it pretty quickly. And they can become best friends because Sylvia stole her, bre her best friendship from Elliot, which was a bit sad, but um, it's nice that she's best friends with her mom now. So that's good. Okay, well, uh, we'll get Clarice to... Oh, Bailey and Judy have fallen out of touch. Well, <laughs> she is a ghost. They can become best friends again if they want. And you know what? Clarice, have some fun. Have some fun before work. Watch a movie. Clarice is probably going to be in the best mood now. Oh, Bailey's already gone off to school. Oh, no, we didn't get to give her some lunch. Oh, dear. Well, let's maybe study hard. Meanwhile, Clarice is just... Enjoying the morning. Since when does Clarice watch movies in the morning? This relationship has been like the best thing to happen to her since sliced bread. Uh, although I reckon she's probably like gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free. Like she'd just be on all the food diets, allergen diets. Oh dear, let's fix this. I love when your Sims earn good money and you just know you can replace things and it's so much easier. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, it was her hunger that was down. Why did I think it was her bladder down? I don't know. I'm going crazy, I don't know. I'm sorry, you guys. Quickly eat that up, and then girl can head <laughs> off to work. Yay. I feel like Bailey's house is, like, the house for everyone to come to. Like, her friends always come over. But if you lived in this house, I'd want friends over all the time. It's such a beautiful home. So nice and perfect. And spacious. Ooh. All right. Well, Clarice is off to work. 
Okay, so it's after school time and lo and behold, Sylvia is back oh, in the same <laughs> freaking outfit as Bailey. Oh gosh. Oh, why is she so tense? She's tense from having a mood swing. Oh gosh, and the Spice Festival is in town. Nice one. All this stress is going to cause me to break out. Oh gosh, so what is her mood right now? Oh, she's feeling distant. Being near and interacting with family has started to stress them out. The world just doesn't understand them. Well, you know what? I think that makes sense for a character. Uh, anyway, let's go up here and knock on the door. She's gone home from school with Bailey. Maybe they're planning on going to the festival. Uh, possibly. Where is she? My God, how far away did you go? <laughs> oh, look at this beautiful driveway. I love her running up to this house. Man, such a cool house. I shouldn't like talk about my builds like that, being like, oh my God, this is just so awesome. But <laughs> I really like it. Okay, come on in. Okay, she can show our favorite game on her phone. Oh, she's not wearing the Converse though. She didn't quite get the whole, the whole look. Oh, she basically is though. She's like wearing Vans instead of Converse. Like, ugh, I love this oh, game. It's, it's called Tinder, <laughs> and you just reject no, all the boys. <laughs> Bailey's like, that's not a game, Quavo Sylvia. That's a dating gun. app. She's like, I Never know, like. but it's fun. All right. Well, maybe Sylvia can go into Bailey's room, have a little snoop around. Just be like, ugh, Bailey, I want to change my bedroom. I'm just going to, like, look at yours. Bailey's doing push-ups. I always thought um, Bailey would be quite athletic. You know what I mean? I just thought she would be. <laughs> oh, she's crying at Bailey's desk. Everything's just becoming too much. That's so sad. Oh, don't cry, Sylvia. Oh, she's hungry. She's ha Oh, but wait. What are, what has been left over here? What's just come out from under their bed? Oh my God, Bailey. <gasps> that was so close. Oh my gosh. She's like, what is that, Bailey? She's like, oh, it's my diary. Why is she still crying? Ugh. Sylvia's like, ugh, lame Bailey. Who still has a diary? I'm gonna go get some crisps. And then she's like, getting her crisps and then she's like wait hold on bailey's diary no loy sawata marissa kumbar maybe i should look in bailey's diary oh god i heard bailey put that diary away did she oh my god it's still there we should totally go snoop in it Look at Clarice, she's just so happy. I love seeing her, such a happy lady, cooking just like her mother used to. Oh, it's so nice, so nice. Oh, what's Bailey doing? She's gonna get a drink of water. I feel like Sylvia wants to go look in that diary. She's probably like figuring out, hmm, how do I sneak in? I really wanna see what's in there. I bet Bailey's got some dirt that I could share. Maybe she should share a secret and be like, so Bailey, I've got a secret. Once I stole Mr. McDonald's favorite pen. It was so funny. He was looking for it everywhere. Oh my God, so weird. You're such a rebel. <laughs> so he's like, sir, do you have any secrets you want to tell me, Bailey? I don't have any secrets. She's like, whatever, Bailey. Whatever. Oh, don't hide your diary. Complain about parents. Why does Bailey pee so much? I feel like she pees all the time. Oh my god, I just want her... I just want her to, like... Leave a diary alert so Sylvia can look. I want to look at the diary more than Sylvia does, even though I know what's in the diary. Okay, let's lead her over here. They can sit and chat here. Oh my god, it's like an 11 o'clock at night. They're having a sleepover! Girls sleepover and gossip. Let's just watch TV. 
Doctor for now. Uh, just turn the channel on. Her. Girls' Bailey night. And Shabby she can be like, oh, Bailey, I'm just going to the bathroom. I'll be back in one second. But it's like, okay. Whatever. We should probably get to bed soon, by the way, Sylvia. It's late. Mmm. Bacon and eggs. Oh my god. Garza! <laughs> what? This is so good. Oh my god, so many embarrassing things in here. How she always had a massive crush on Max. How her and Max messed around. Oh, like, I didn't know that already. <gasps> and oh my god, her mom is seeing. Her mom is by. Oh my god. I can't believe Celine oh. has a girlfriend. Hmm, I bet I could no. use this against Bailey. Sylvia is so naughty. She should take some pictures on her phone. Let's maybe, I want to get her phone out. Take a selfie quickly. That can represent her taking pictures of Bailey's diary to post online or something. And remember in the diary that Bailey never wrote about who her mom's girlfriend was? She should go over here and upload it. Mm, write a genre book. <laughs> I don't think so. More choices web. Socialize. Oh, I didn't know they could look for a homework answer key. God, there's so many things I don't know, and I'm like, how many hours she per day talk. do I actually, <laughs> like, play this game? Like, I really should know all the ins and outs. Uh, half of you guys are like, yeah, I know, you, you always forget things. <laughs> oh my god, and now she's pretending to be Bailey's best friend. Maybe she begin. Oh. Yeah, she should post about it as like an anonymous person because she wants to take down Bailey as the popular girl. She's like gonna uh -huh. post it on Facebook or something. I mean, there's nothing wrong with Clarice being gay. Like, who cares? But for Sylvia, she just sees it as some good gossip to maybe upset Bailey and cause some havoc by spreading it. But little does she know, it's actually her mom that Bailey's mom is seeing. So she's gonna regret this. <sighs> but Bailey has no idea. That's so upsetting. Anyway, maybe Sylvia can just go home now that she's done the dirty. I suppose she will go post some more things when she gets home. Uh, so maybe we'll just say a friendly goodbye. Maybe just give her a hug and be like, see ya, Bailey. Thanks for the sleepover. Bailey will be like, oh, I thought we, I thought you were like actually staying over there. And Sylvia can be like, no, I'm, I think I'll just go home now. So Bailey's like, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> see you, Sylvia. I'll Can't see you this weekend. Bluffy. Okay, I'm going to put Bailey to bed, but here we go. We've just got a pop-up. I would like to adult now. I feel like I'm old enough that I should be allowed to go anywhere I want and do whatever I want. Can you just treat me like an adult, please? To Clarice, you'll always be my baby. Not until you've grown more. Not until you've grown more. Affects responsibility. Clarice is a good mom. She's like, you will be able to have more freedom as you get older. All right, let's go to bed because it's like two in the morning for Bailey. <laughs> Clarice is like always hungry, I swear. It's good Clarice is eating more too because remember how she never used to eat much? Like she's always like really stressed out with work and really busy so she would never eat. I'm like super obsessed with healthy eating and diet and stuff, which, you know, it's good to eat healthy. There's nothing wrong with that. But, oh, she's dreaming about conflict resolution getting worse. What? <laughs> but... I feel like now she's relaxed a little. It would be nice for her to maybe put on a little bit of weight too, to reflect that. So we might try and get her to put on some weight. Uh, but we'll get her into bed. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And we'll speed through to the morning. And maybe Bailey should jump online, check her Facebook or social ah. media and get a pretty big shock. Mm. She's woken up at uh, 6.30 on a Saturday morning. As always, Bailey feels like 
Ah, life is good. Oh my god, Bailey's going through a phase. She'll pick up an instrument any chance she gets, yell often, and turn all radios up to 11. Well, this is good timing with what's about to happen. Uh, so let's maybe go to social networking. Oh, wait, she doesn't even have a social... Oh, no, wait, that's... I was going to say, can teens... Teens can't even have a profile, can they? Uh, let's just go on chat and we'll see what happens. Okay, she's going to go ahead and start looking at what's online and... Oh, no! Bailey's super embarrassed. She's like, oh, my God. How... Oh my gosh, mm. How, why is this mm. online? How do people know Max and I mm. went to second, third base or whatever, messed around and oh my gosh, how do people know that I used to have a crush on that guy? <laughs> oh my gosh, and now it's saying how clingy I thought Elliot has been. <sighs> Cause he, oh my gosh. You're in nigh. <gasps> and now she's angry. <sighs> so she's thinking, Someone must have looked in my diary. It's the only way. It's the only way that would have happened. Let's get Clarice downstairs. Um, maybe she can start making something nice for breakfast. Scrambled eggs. Oh, no, she doesn't eat bacon. Uh, serve breakfast. I remembered that time, you guys. Let's make some pancakes. Okay. She'll be like, hi, honey. How are you? Oh, what's wrong? Bailey's like, I don't want you to look, Mom. It's about you. <laughs> Chris is like, what do you mean it's about me? <sighs> Sweetie, do you want me to make your favorite breakfast? <laughs> Let's give her a hug lovingly option. Annoying. Bailey needs a hug. Oh, there we go. <sighs> and Bailey can tell her about what happened. And like, everyone's talking about how Sam's you have a girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Chris is like, oh, sweetie, huh? it's okay. Oh. <laughs> lots, of, lots of kids have months with girlfriends and dads with boyfriends. It's fine, and I'm not offended at all. People can talk, and it's stupid gossip. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, Bailey's gone back to her diary to write in it more. Oh, no, she just shut it. She's like, Ugh, I'm never yeah. writing in this diary again. Let's hide that journal. Oh, she's very angry. I wonder if she thinks it was Sylvia. Well, Why? Sylvia's the only one who knew about her and Max messing around. So I feel like maybe that would be a legit thing. So let's get Bailey to go over to Sylvia's place and be like, oh, what have you done, Sylvia? Like, seriously. Okay, where are we? Where's Sylvia's house? Willow Creek. Let's go to here. The morns. Right, she can head over there and be like, look, there's all this stuff online. I don't even know how it got online. My mom doesn't really care because like we don't really care, but it just makes me look really bad. And there's things I've said about people that I never wanted them to know about, especially Elliot, who she's mentioned was clingy. Yeah, she probably me. said a couple of things <gasps> about Olivia that she didn't want people to hear. And you know, anything bad about Sylvia was probably not even in it. <laughs> It's like the burn book from Mean Girls. The only people who aren't in it is like Regina, George, Gretchen, Wieners, and Karen. Okay, that's her mom. And the worst thing is Sylvia doesn't even know that it's her mom. Right, let's go straight in. Oh my god, she's caught her in the act. Oh no, she's playing Sims. Uh, maybe let's have a little bit of a fight maybe argue about school because they're arguing about their friends and be like oh i know mom's there that's really awkward like sylvia you're the only one who could have known that stuff no one else knew about max and i and you're the only one who wasn't mentioned or leaked oh god she's wearing this the nose ring again oh my god don't yell at her mom <laughs> She's like, girls, girls, please calm down. What is all of this about? And Bailey's like, Ugh, I can't tell you. She's not happy about it. Bailey's like raging. She's a smart girl, Bailey. 
Sylvia's like, I didn't do anything, Bailey. Just because your secrets are out and you're embarrassed, it doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. <sighs> Maybe, Bailey, it's a good idea if you step down from being the leader of our club, of our friendship group. I mean, I can take your spot and then you can fix everything with everyone. Bailey's like, oh, do you really think that that would be the best idea? Like, yeah. I mean, Olivia won't like you anymore, and Her Elliot song. definitely won't like you anymore. Oh, yeah. God, she's a nasty piece of work. Thank so God, let's get her to go it. over here and clubs. Angrily quit club. Convince Lita oh. to step down. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to basically just say to Bailey, Barbie look, you've said stuff about all of our friends and Lamina I think you shouldn't team. really be a part of our that. friendship group no anymore. Oh, Pimpini. <sighs> she's like, really? I mean, you are my best friend. <sighs> You're right, Sylvia. Maybe you Don't should lead teens. <gasps> oh my God. Sylvia is now the queen bee and Bailey stepped down. Oh my gosh. And she should invite someone else to the club. We need a new club member. What? No, no, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to invite Travis. No. Oh my God. No, Travis, you are out of the club. <laughs> Travis didn't last for very long. We need a teen. Why can't we see what age they are? We need to see their ages or else it doesn't, they have to be a teen. <sighs> we need a new teen in this let's play. Marcus Flex, Paolo, is Paolo a teen? No, he's a young adult. We'll have to find someone else. But oh my God, she's now the leader of the club and Bailey, <gasps> we should like actually kick Bailey out. Okay. Try to cheer her up and then be like, Oh, she's so mean. Kick out of teens. She should be like, Bailey, you just can't be friends with us if everyone thinks you're mean. You should go hang out with some other people. No, Sylvia's being like mean about it. She's like, you did this to yourself. And she looks pretty happy with herself, doesn't she? Oh my gosh, the drama. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to leave this part right here. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon.